Today I am going to say about the exterior of the heart. These are two hearts that collected from cadaver. So today I am going to say about the heart, how it holds in anatomical question first. Okay? So you have to know its different parts first of all. So there are different parts means there is one, you know, it contains one apex, one base. First of all, you have to identify the apex and base. See here, before going to the apex, this part is definitely apex, you know, this is the apex part. Okay, this part is the apex part. So after that, you have to identify here some things that are the parts of the heart. So here, this one is the aorta. Definitely, you have to identify the aorta. This one is aorta, and this one is this one is aorta. Okay, this one. See, this one. This one is aorta. This part is ascending part, arch of aorta, and in this part, this one is cut. This one will be the descending aorta. So from the ascending aorta, it's divided into three parts. It gives main branch from the arch of aorta. These are BCS. That means this one is the Brachiocephalic trunk BCS, common carotid artery, S for subclavian artery. So B, B means this one is going to the right side, so that means to the right side is, is divided into again subclavian artery and common carotid artery. This one is the subclavian artery and common carotid artery from the common brachiocephalic trunk. And for the left side, this, uh, this one is the BCS, so this one is the common carotid artery that supplies the head and neck part, left side, and this one is the right subclavian, uh, left subclavian artery, left side. Okay, these are the branches you have to identify. Again, in this area, you have to identify these things. This one is the superior vena cava. This one will be the superior vena cava, yes. And this one is the inferiorly, this one is the inferior vena cava. This is the opening of inferior vena cava. So this one, when you join this one, this one will be the one line. So here you can see one sulcus, and this sulcus is known as the sulcus terminalis. Okay, this, these are just for identification, how to identify. Again, in this area also, see focus here, this one also, this is the right side, so right auricle. That is a part of the right atrium. This one is the right auricle. This is just muscular projections that is arises from the muscular projection hollow part this is when you cut internally this will be the hollow so this one is the right auricle and left side you see this is a part of left atrium this is the left auricle okay now first you have to identify the apex this is the apex then after that the base always remember a base is always lies posterior to the apex. If this one is the apex, this set will be the base. Don't confuse with the inferior surface, or this, this will be the inferior surface, or, or, uh, or diaphragmatic surface, because this one will be lie over the diaphragm. You have to know the concept, you have to get the concept, it overlays the diaphragm. That means the diaphragm or in diaphragmatic surface or inferior surface. Okay, so when you hold, here again, one thing you have to know it contains one border. This is opening, I have already told you, this one is the opening of inferior vena cava. So, from the opening of the inferior vena cava to the apex, there is one border, this is the sharp border. Easily you can see this one is the sharp border, this sharp border. So, this border is known as the inferior border. This border opening from Opening from inferior vena cava to the apex, this is the inferior borders. So when you hold it for the anatomical positions, always keep the apex part. Keep like this way, your hand, hold this way. So after that, you have to keep the apex in this area. That means this is, I am given the apex in this area. So what happened this, remember, this line, inferior border will come this way along this way okay along this way so like this type clear so this is the way when you hold this one in anatomical positions 
that means it lies over the diaphragm, diaphragm so this part will be the diaphragmatic surface now I'm going to say about the different parts so this is the apex and this part will be the this part will be the base see this posteriorly this part will be the base whatever lies in this area this part will be the base or this is lies posteriorly this part is lies posteriorly towards the vertebra that's why this part also known as the posterior surface or vertebral surface okay now this part is known as the diaphragmatic surface this part is known as the diaphragmatic surface or inferior surface this part this part okay clear now here again it contains again two surfaces one is known as the sternocostellar surface and one is known as the left surface how will you identify sternocostal surface and left surface you have to draw a borders which extend from the left auricle this one is the left auricle to the apex this is one border this border is known as the this border this is the ill-defined border actually this is a ill-defined border from the left auricle to the apex and this is the left border so left right side to the left border this is known as the sternocostal surface and left side to the left border this part is known as the left surface so what are the surface we have got here this one is the surface sternocostal surface which is bounded inferiorly by the inferior border posteriorly by this one is the mm, not posteriorly actually above port this is for the aorta and pulmonary tract and to the left side this is the left border so this part is the sternocostal surface and in the left side this is the left border and posteriorly here you will get the atrioventricular group actually left side atrioventricular group okay then after that inferiorly here what happened there is one border actually this is not commonly said as a border but this is also a border that's why this is known as an unnamed border so when you which one actually unnamed border when you extend this one you know this one is the uh, infra border which extend from the opening of the infra infra phenagopha to the apex this is known as the infra border when you extend towards the left side this is known as the unnamed border so inferiorly it will be unnamed border and left border and atrioventricular group this part is known as the left left surface and inferiorly definitely this part will be the uh, inferior surface okay so now base what will be the boundary of base if someone asks you what is the boundary of base definitely right side will be the right border that extends from the opening of the supervenagopha to the opening of the inferior venagopha this side right side okay and left side here you have to see the super margin of the opening of opening of the super pulmonary vein and inferior pulmonary veins left side so here in this side there will be superior yes this side will be superior and this side, this side will be the inferior left side veins pulmonary veins and right side this one right border and upper there here just bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk which one pulmonary trunk yes this one will be the pulp uh, yes 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 this one is the bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk this one you can see this one is the pulmonary trunk yes anteriorly if you see this one is the aorta this one is the pulmonary trunk so bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk this one is the pulmonary trunk so this one will be bifurcated so this set another one is the this set so bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk and inferiorly posterior part of the atrioventricular group this part is definitely ventricle so this part is atrium so in this area you can see there is one group and this part is known as the atrioventricular group have you focused in this area this is the atrioventricular group okay so these are the things this that means these are the area that is known as the base okay so now what are the group here this is interventricular group definitely in between this one this one and in this area this in the uh, anterior interventricular group which cut in this area the inferior surface in this area and this is known as the incisura epicis cordis 
okay this part is known as the incisura epicis cordis and here if you see this one is the atrium and this part is the ventricle so that said right atrioventricular group this way this set will be right atrioventricular group if you see posteriorly this one will be the posteriorly this one posterior part of the atrioventricular group that means this part is the atrium yes and this part is the ventricle so this part will be the atrioventricular group and this side also left side atrioventricular group will be this one okay so all this part i have discussed and again sinus one thing you have to know externally what one is the transverse sinus one is the oblique sinus so transverse sinus that means this one is the common source origin this is an anterior and both these are same and the developmentally arises from the same trunk this one this is the aorta and the pulmonary trunk so anteriorly this one and posteriorly the other all these parts so when you hold this way you will get see my finger is giving this way okay using this way so this there will be the one foramen directly this one this one is known as the this one is known as the transverse sinus okay transverse sinus is this one okay now again another you know this one is this one is known as the oblique sinus it lies posterior posteriorly when you see the posterior part that in this area that means in this the j shape area in this area this way you will get in in case of intact heart there there is there will be the oblique sinus so i hope all these things will be clear for you thank you for the watching this video i'm going to upload this one so in the next video i'm going to make one another video so where will be the inside part of the heart so today i'm only completed the art outside part of the heart so i i shall tell you in the next video also in the what are the things that goes through this way what are the arterial supply of the heart what are the going things that lodges in the group different groups all these things okay thank you